So we're at Lake Huntsman, uh, which is about 28 acres um, in surface area. It's a, one of the larger impoundments that we have in Pohit Creek watershed. They were built in the 70s to early 80s um, with some funding from the uh, federal government. And the idea was to, uh, to control some sediment in the watershed, to trap sediment and control flooding in the watershed. So this is one of about six or seven series of lakes that we built in this watershed. So we've got two major things occurring here. We're going to be dredging the lake, which basically means removing all of the sediment that's collected in the lake um, over time. That occurs from upstream stream erosion. And as the watershed uh, washes silt and sediment downstream, this lake catches it and it settles on the bottom. So um, to increase the lake's filtering capability for removing sediment, we take out the loose sediment that's been built up in it. It makes the lake deeper and it makes it more effective at trapping sediment. So that's one of the two things. The other thing is we are going to be doing some engineering work on the dam itself. Um, there's an emergency spillway that allows water to go over in a very high rain event. Uh, the emergency spillway needs to be upgraded based on new dam standards. And while we're in here, we're, uh, we're repairing and replacing what's called the riser structure, which is basically the big concrete pipe out in the middle of the deep part that drains the lake um, underneath the dam into the stream downstream. What happened was a couple years ago the um, dam standards uh, were raised and therefore some of the existing dams that were within standards then all of a sudden became below standard. We're dredging it and while we have the opportunity while we're dredging it I think we're upgrading some of the older parts of the dam but no it's not in, in risk of failure by any means. When we dredge them we have to typically drain all the water out of the lake which uh, is obviously not good for the fishery here. Um, this lake's been stocked probably many times over the course of its life so um, what we're doing now is we're removing as many fish as we can today uh, in anticipation of the lake drawdown which is going to occur uh, later in the summer of the summer 2013 um, so we're using electrofishing techniques which is basically a small boat using uh, AC current with a generator on the boat and uh, shocking stunning the fish temporarily capturing them with nets um, and then bringing them back into a live well and storing them for transport to nearby Lake Mercer. Um, the fish are just temporarily stunned and then they recover. And um, the idea is to get as many uh, of the, the, the good fish out of the lake as we possibly can prior to actually draining the lake down and turning it into uh, basically a dry mud flat. So that's, that's what we're trying to do today is get as many fish out of here and save them. We found that it, the lake currently actually has a very, uh, very productive fishery in it, probably based on several years of, rest of stocking in the past. We pulled out some really nice uh, largemouth bass and, and other game fish out of here. So it definitely has the capability for producing another good fishery. However, there's going to be some time needed after uh, the lake is refilled um, and it needs to settle down. We'll start stocking it with small fish. Um, but unless we bring in larger fish from another lake, it may be several years before we get back to uh, the fishery that it is now.